Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Maple Bourbon Barrel So It's Oats from One Well Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try maple bourbon barrel. So it's oats. This is a maple bourbon barrel aged imperial oatmeal stout. This is a eight ounce can. I was talking uh, to the beer patrol and another guy about why they keep putting these humongous beers or high ABV beers in these big bottles when most of the time you're not going to drink the whole thing. So uh, it is nice of them to put it in a smaller can because obviously 8 ounces, that's good enough, I think, for me. 12, I think, would be fine. Um, per untap, this is 12.9% ABV. I did pick this up at their pub. There, For four of them, it was $22.00. Uh, for a four pack so to me it is on the expensive side I was gonna they had a standard bourbon barrel aged one um, and I was gonna pick both of them up until I saw the price and I figured probably the maple one would be better should give some sweetness uh, ABV IBUs are not on the can it doesn't even say unless I really missed it uh, it does say uh, eight fluid ounces on it um, no date at all on this. I think if you were to age it, I'm guessing that maple, that sweet flavor would die out. But let's go ahead and get it in the glass and see what we get. This has, this beer has been sitting out about, my guess is like a half hour or so. I got it out before I had lunch. Uh, so it should be pretty warm, um, you know, uh, between probably 55 and 60 I'm guessing by now there we go did all fit in there uh, we do have a uh, khaki chocolate color head bubbles or popping like mad going down there uh, from this glass I would say a finger and a half of head bubbles along the side are big like bubble wrap and compact like just soap if we take a look at the color, it is black, uh, no hue at all. I cannot see through it at all. Let's go ahead and get a nose on it. Big bourbon, wet, vanilla barrel oak is what I get out of this thing. If anything, that bourbon oak almost like a tobacco smell yeah now that those bubbles are settling down it's more of a big bourbon wet oak barrel smell with some tobacco on the back let's go ahead and get a taste i i, I don't really pick up on the sweetness my i don't know when these were canned we do stop by one well i wouldn't say often let's just say once a month or so and i've never seen this on tap so i don't know how new this is um but it smells like it was in very wet barrels and it's young. But let's go ahead and get a taste. I get more of oak liquor, oak vanilla liquor as it starts going back, big roasted malt, tobacco um, in the back end, it goes down. Aftertaste is like a vanilla oak, very dark roasted malt. Yeah. A little bit of sweetness in there. Not very much. I really... I don't know if I would be able to tell this was in maple, that this had, well, the aftertaste. It's almost like a brown sugar, a sweet brown sugar now, as my palate warms up. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, up front, if you're into that oaky, vanilla, alcohol, tobacco kind of tastes, I think this would be right up your alley. You do get some almost sweet brown sugar now in the aftertaste with some roasted malt in there. You still get that oakiness, but that, that brown sugar... Uh, maple is what I'm guessing it is, is starting to come out more. My throat is a uh, burning just a little. Yeah, I think One Well did a good job on this beer. I would like to try the standard one. Um, next time we're there, if they have any, I might pick it up. Uh, I actually think this would age well. Some of that sweetness at the beginning, like I said, I think that's going to fall first. But um, as it ages, those roasted malts, I really don't get chocolate uh, body on this. I would say is medium. Um, but I can almost see that. I don't know because I was thinking the oat should have brought that body a bigger a thicker body my guess is they did use very wet barrels and it cut through uh, that imperial stout and did make it uh, less have less of a body but yeah I would have to say uh, I would go with a 4.25 out of 5 I really want to see some more chocolate um, I would like to see the body thicker, but I don't know how much you can control that in a wet barrel. Uh, I think they would have had to done a test run and then did it to see how wet those barrels are and how much it was going to thin out that beer. Uh, but yeah, I want to see more roasted malt. I, I think that that bourbon, that oak is still very young and it's taken over most of the palate. But if you're into beers like that, I think this is good for you to drink now. Um, yeah, pretty pretty good beer overall. Is it worth $22 for a four-pack? At this point, I would probably have to say no. Uh, I do like, I, I would say uh, an aged beer over a young beer uh, like this. In this case, I would like to see it mellow out some. Um, so, yeah, if you're picking this up to drink it now, uh, $22 I think is expensive, especially for 8 ounces. Uh, I think somewhere in the $15 to $16 range uh, would be where I would like to see this. Um, but untapped, uh, seven. none of my friends have tried this. Um, 70 uh, people have rated this average 4.13 out of 5. Um, so, yeah, we're kind of over there sweet, a little boozy, one person said. Uh, so, yeah, I, it's, it's, I could drink a lot more uh, than this 8 ounces at a time. See, so there's one person that does want more. Like I said, on uh, the EBV versus the can size, I think max is 12, 12 ounces, uh, maybe, you know, I do like these smaller ones as I can do more reviews and I'm not going to be, you know, uh, sleeping by the time I'm done with this, but I could see for a regular person, 12 ounces instead of eight. It's just, it's almost like those liquor, the one ounce bottles, um, that that's probably what I would review if I was doing liquor reviews. So smaller, the better, uh, get some, have some to drink and then move on to the next. So yeah, one well did a good job with this one. So if you can pick this up, I've never seen it in stores. I've only seen it at the pub, but if you can get it, uh, and you're into big bourbon barrel aged beers, I would say pick one up. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing. <laughs>